get some aggression on. But oh man, Scourge coming in. Scourge sight range did not see that Corsair because Scourge cannot see very far. But it looks like Type B is coming in here. He's going to see the scout on those cannons at least. And whatever building was coming up behind the minerals there might have been just a pylon. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Run Corsair. Corsair coming in to get the scout and everything. Best just going to use this Corsair to scout, basically. He's not going to be able to get any overlord kills with a Scourge behind him the whole time. But yeah, a lot of hatcheries coming up here for Type B. This might be a little bit too many hatcheries. He's committing to a huge um, economy right here. But we'll see if he can make these hatcheries work before Best decides to come in with uh, Reavers or whatever. Looks like he has... He's still pumping Corsair, so this could be a Corsair Reaver build. I didn't see a whole lot of uh, Zealots on the ground either, so he is probably pumping a lot of Corsairs and a lot of Reavers. And a Scourge coming in to get the full scout here. And it looks like Best is coming down to put on suppressor, but he's not going to be able to do anything with those Sunkens there. And Type B's economy is just booming here. Even though, oh man, he's taking the double gas as well. So if Best lets this happen, this is going to look horrible for Best because Best is still at two bases right here against one, two, three, four, five bases from Type B here. So Best is, if he wants to end this game, he's got to come in now with some early aggression or something. He needs some form of aggression here to push in. Otherwise, Type B is just going to completely overwhelm Best here. Type B is just playing very defensively. He's getting some sunkens down at his new bases, taking the, the double gas here, so he's going to be able to work to hive tech very soon. Best coming in right now with a very small force, and uh, he has a bigger force than Type B right now, but that's not going to last long. Once Type B has his drone saturation the way he wants it, he's going to be pumping from all of his hatcheries. Look at the Butylists are out now for Type B. So Type B can move in here and take out the shuttle if he sees it with the range from that. Oh, he does see all of the units right here. He's coming in with all of his mutilists right here. And he might lose this uh, hatchery here in the middle. In fact, he's probably going to. A lot of Corsair is coming in now. So it uh, looks like Best might be able to defend these Zealots. No, oh, maybe not. I think the Zealots are going to go down before they manage to take out the hatchery. So this hatchery will survive here. So, uh, yeah, that double gas staying up. A Zerg with a double gas is a <laughs> majorly, majorly big force, a force of nature, <laughs> pretty much. And I think he's taking another base, another double gas. This could be a little bit greedy, actually, from Type B. I mean, this is a major economic build from Type B. And, uh, yeah, he's pumping a lot of Scourge here to take out the Corsairs. And he might be stopping best here, but, yeah, he's got to be aggressive with this build eventually he's got to start pumping a lot of troops eventually because this is a corsair reaver build the double star stargate is indicative of a corsair reaver build and the reavers are out getting ready to be picked up by the uh shuttles but with all these scourge around this is looking bad for best best is going to have a very tough time uh, maneuvering around the map with this amount of scourge best is trying to take another base right now and type b still playing it defensively um still waiting to get his economy up his co his economy is absolutely insane right now and uh, yeah he's going to be able just to pump units constantly soon he's taking another double gas that just blows my mind that he's taking both double gases right here but yeah he's just gonna have a ton of gas he's gonna have a ton of minerals in the tank but yeah he's gonna have to start pumping units soon if he wants to fend off this attack from Best. And Best is just letting this happen. Best has not harassed hardly at all. He dropped those few Zealots, and those few Zealots helped him there to uh, attack Type B's hatcheries and everything like that. But Type B is in a prime position to move into his first round of 16 of the OSL here. Because he's just grouping up an insane amount of Mutilus here. He has Scourge all over the place too, playing it very safe. But uh, I think this is probably the best course of action for him to take, playing it safe like this. And Best, once known as the Macro Monster, is kind of committing to more of a mid-game army here. He's coming in with a ton of uh, Corsairs here. This is going to be a huge air battle, actually, uh, because I think those Corsairs might be able to take down the Mutilists if the Scourge don't come in in time. And there are enough uh, Corsairs here to fight off uh, a lot of Scourge as well. So here come the um, 
the reaver drops from best best is going to try to take out this double gas up here i'm not sure if he knows about the other double gas or not but uh looks like a reaver went down there from best oh it looks like type b's attention is split here best is taking out a lot of drones at all of the expansion series he has two prongs to this attack, taking out one of the hatcheries, and he's taking out a lot of drones at the main here, here from Type B. But man, look at all those Corsairs. This is a Corsair Reaver build, but it's m way more Corsairs than Reavers right now. So of course I could be in. Oh man, this is going to be such a huge air battle in here in the middle. Whoa, whoa! This is best has got to be crapping his pants right now. He's running back to his base trying to get in a better defensive position right against these uh, cannons. This is a excellent opportunity for best to strike here, even though all those scourge are coming in. But yeah, he lured Type B right into those cannons, and uh, Type B had to have lost at least one third of his mutilus right there. Even though he's coming in right now trying to tackle the Corsairs with mutilus, this will not work out for him. He needs scourge, a lot of scourge, to tackle the amount of Corsairs that best has amassed here. But yeah, this is absolutely insane. I'm usually don't see this kind of um, air battle between Mutilus and Corsairs, but it looks like that is what both players are committing to here. And uh, Best has such a huge Corsair count here. I think it might have been a little bit greedy of uh, Type B to go for the extra bases here. I think he probably should have knocked out one base and just committed to a larger army here. Even though he still has a ton of Mutilus here. He's got to keep them ungrouped so he doesn't have the splash damage get taken to them. But yeah, Best coming in here now with a Reaver. He's going to try to tack all, tackle all the drones here. All of the uh, Mutilus going down. Mutilus blood everywhere. Oh man, Scourge coming in at the exact same time. Best has annihilated the Mutilus count of Type B. GG. That was insane. Best coming in with about two control groups of uh, Corsairs there. One control group and probably a third of a control group of Corsairs. So Best is muscling his way back into this series. <laughs> that, was, that was nuts. And Type B just had his timing a little bit off, a little bit too greedy on his economic build. He did not have the troops to defend all of those bases. But yeah, I'm moving on to the third set. 